Good morning. Today we're going to be replacing this master cylinder on a 1983 GMC 1500 van with powered disc brakes. Uh, I have several reasons for replacing it. One, through research I found out this is the incorrect master cylinder. This appears to be off a C10 pickup truck. And the other issue is <clears throat> after bleeding them several times when coming to a stop, um, you can push the brakes all the way to the floor and the vehicle will still creep. So we'll just go ahead and swap this out and um, try and get it back on the road. First thing we'll do is take the caps off the reservoirs and we'll uh, remove the fluid with the Mighty Vac hand pump. I went ahead and soaked down these two fittings again with some penetrating oil. They don't look too bad, but it can't hurt. Next, we'll go ahead and break the two nuts loose on the studs holding the master cylinder to the power brake booster. And the master cylinder is off. This is what the correct one is supposed to be like. I'm not sure how or why this one ended up on here. Maybe that's what they had, but they found. I'm not sure, but we'll go ahead and put this new one on. All right, bolts are tightened. We'll go ahead and move these two plastic caps and we'll reinstall the brake lines. I like to give them a few turns by hand when installing because sometimes the metal lines are bent where they don't line up perfectly with the threads. And by, by getting them turned in a few times by hand, uh, it'll help prevent cross-threading. Both lines are reinstalled. Now all we have left to do is remove the lid and fill with the correct type brake fluid and then bleed the brakes. So it calls for dot three brake fluid, which is what I have here. So we'll go ahead and add it to the reservoirs. For some reason, my phone decided to quit recording, but I finished filling up the reservoirs with fluid. I've reinstalled the lid and the clamps holding it down. All that's left is now bleeding the brakes, and I may make an additional video showing that. Thanks for watching.